Hey everyone. Today's amazing topic is about the Lockheed Martin State Route 72, a conceptual high-speed, high-altitude unmanned aircraft. So let's go see about it. The Lockheed Martin State Route 72 is a conceptual high-speed, high-altitude unmanned aircraft, often referred to as a hypersonic aircraft. It is intended to be a successor to the State Route 71 Blackbird, a reconnaissance aircraft known for its incredible speed and altitude capabilities. Key points about the State Route 72. Design and size. The State Route 72 is envisioned to be similar in size to its predecessor, the State Route 71, which was over 100 feet, 30 meters, long. This size is necessary to accommodate the required systems and equipment for its high-speed, high-altitude missions. Operational concept. The State Route 72 follows the U.S. Air Force's hypersonic roadmap, which includes the development of a hypersonic strike weapon by 2020 and a penetrating ISR aircraft like the State Route 72 by 2030. These capabilities are seen as essential for maintaining U.S. military superiority in the face of evolving threats. Challenges. Developing a practical hypersonic aircraft like the State Route 72 comes with significant technical and engineering challenges. Materials capable of withstanding the extreme heat generated at hypersonic speeds, propulsion systems that can transition between various speed regimes, and the development of specialized payloads are among the primary challenges. Government funding. Lockheed Martin had been in talks with government officials about the State Route 72 project, but it had not secured funding for the development of the demonstrator or its engine as of the information available in 2013. International competition. The development of hypersonic technology was motivated, in part, by the belief that foreign countries could produce and export advanced aerial technologies that might pose challenges to the United States. This competitive landscape drove the U.S. Air Force to explore and develop new systems, including hypersonic technologies. Air Force's interest. The U.S. Air Force was interested in the SR-72's capabilities, particularly its ability to reduce the reaction time an adversary would have in the event of military operations. This speed advantage could enhance the Air Force's ability to respond rapidly to emerging threats. Stealth UAV competition. The State Route 72 faced competition from other UAVs, such as the Northrop Grumman RQ-180 Stealth UAV, which was considered a more straightforward and practical option for conducting ISR missions in contested airspace. The RQ-180 was seen as a more immediate solution. Hypersonic speed. The State Route 72 is designed to fly at hypersonic speeds, which typically means speeds greater than Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. This would enable it to cover vast distances in a short amount of time. Reconnaissance and strike capabilities. Like its predecessor, the State Route 72 is expected to have both reconnaissance and potential strike capabilities, making it a versatile platform for military applications. Unmanned aircraft. Lockheed Martin has envisioned the State Route 72 as an unmanned aircraft, meaning it would be controlled remotely or autonomously, reducing the risks to human pilots in high-speed, high-altitude flight. Advanced technologies. Developing an aircraft that can operate at hypersonic speeds presents significant engineering challenges, including materials and propulsion systems that can withstand extreme heat and forces generated during hypersonic flight. The State Route 72 is expected to incorporate advanced materials and technologies to address these challenges. Defense and Intelligence Applications The State Route 72 would be useful for a variety of defense and intelligence missions, such as reconnaissance, rapid response to threats, and potentially as a deterrent to adversaries. Materials and aerodynamic heating. To withstand the extreme temperatures generated at hypersonic speeds, the State Route 72 would likely be constructed using advanced materials such as composites, high-performance carbon, ceramic, and metal mixes. Payloads and challenges. As of the information available in May 2015, no specific payloads for the State Route 72 were specified, as existing payloads might not be suitable for an aircraft flying at Mach 6. New sensors and weapons would likely need to be developed to operate at such high speeds. Development Timeline Lockheed Martin had plans to construct a scaled demonstrator by 2018, and the full-scale State Route 72 was expected to enter service by 2030. Interest from the Air Force The United States Air Force expressed interest in the SR-72's hypersonic capabilities due to its potential to reduce reaction time in military operations. 
However, they had not spoken with Lockheed Martin about the aircraft as of 2013. Competition from other UAVs The State Route 72 faced competition from other UAVs like the Northrop Grumman RQ-180, which was considered a less complex option for ISR missions in contested airspace and could have entered service earlier. And finally, I hope. Now, everyone knows that the Lockheed Martin State Route 72 is a conceptual high-speed, high-altitude unmanned aircraft, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel FGH World 24. I will be back soon with more amazing topics. Thanks for watching.